Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Rocky Cinema, or you can call me Doom Rockies, and I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. Today we are going to be doing my first commentary over here on the clan channel, so hopefully you guys enjoy. You have an absolutely monstrous of a gameplay to watch in the background. Your boy Garge managed to pick up a quad DNA bomb playing Retreat Uplink. He dropped a godly 151 and 5 score playing in a two-man party. However, some people may consider this a triple DNA bomb. He managed to pick up the triple before overtime in Uplink, and then he picked up the quad DNA in overtime. So call it what you might, but it is regardless a quad dna bomb absolute godly gameplay check out garge's channel in the description down below what i want to talk about today is a story that happened to me a few years back and it was how i got stranded in the middle of nowhere in kansas now in a few days here i'm going on a road trip all the way to chicago and i am not excited whatsoever to go on a road trip because last time i went on a road trip i got absolutely scarred i am scared to death to go on road trips now because of what happened to me so i had to wake up at two to three in the morning to go on this road trip already not the greatest start in the world because think about it i was like nine ten years old at this point waking up at two or three in the morning wasn't the funnest thing i wasn't still staying up until one or two in the morning i would go to bed at nine or ten have to wake up at two or three in the morning to go on a car ride for two and a half days that was absolutely terrible it was a terrible start to my day and if you guys have ever gone and drove through kansas you know that it's about nine or ten hours just to get through kansas and there is literally nothing to stare at besides grass and windmills and that is it there is nothing but a straight highway that goes through grass cornfields etc and there is literally nothing to look at now on this particular day it was about 105 degrees outside in the middle of Kansas it was like the hottest it's ever been there and we had no air conditioning in our car can you imagine that 105 degrees outside with no air conditioning that was absolutely terrible so all of a sudden a noise started to go off it was the dashboard we were saying that our car overheated and of course 105 degrees you're driving through Kansas the sun beaming right down on your car of course something is bound to happen eventually we didn't think much of it we pulled off to the side of the highway we were gonna let it cool down and we did so for about 15 15 to 20 minutes and we decided to get back on the highway hopefully the car was cool off we go about 20 feet and the car starts to overheat again we start to see some smoke coming out of the engine and we're like oh shit we're about to die so we pull over we try to call AAA however back in the day we didn't have service everywhere so we did not have service in the middle of nowhere in Kansas there was nobody on the highway for some reason in Kansas I don't know why there was nobody going on the highway behind us luckily about 40 45 minutes passed and a state trooper came behind Behind us and called a tow truck driver for us now this tow truck came from the middle of nowhere and he just he picked us up he brought us back to his garage in the middle of a 20 to 30 person town you know one of those towns where literally everybody knows everybody and it was straight up the sketchiest town in the world but I kid you not when we got there we were starving we went to this little family-owned diner in the middle of this little 20 to 30 person town and it is straight up the best food that I have ever had in my life hands down I had the best steak I had the best drink and it was just a coke but it was the best coke I've ever had I don't know if it was because I was hungry and starving and scared but it was the best meal that I have ever had in my life now back to the story it was 105 degrees out and we were in the middle of this town in the middle of Kansas with nothing to do besides wait and figure out what is wrong with our car so of course like I said we went to that diner we walked around the town a little bit because we had no car we met a whole bunch of people and straight up this was the scariest part of the trip this sketchy ass old man he has to be like 76 years old he's pushing a lawnmower through the middle of the street not on the grass he's pushing a lawnmower through the street he comes up to us and he says hey I heard what happened to your car you guys have a place to stay do you want to stay in my basement I can open up my basement to you I'm like this is how a horror movie starts I am about to die there's an old man pushing a lawnmower through the street offering our family to stay in his basement this is how a horror movie starts I could be dead right now this is how a horror movie would have started and my mom is straight up like um no thank you I think we're good I think we'll get a hotel but uh you know after that we went back to the garage we told the guy about what happened he's like I I don't know about that guy he's kind of sketchy we could have died guys and we ended up figuring out that our head gasket has blown a few other things were wrong with the car since we drove it 
and that was about five six thousand dollars to replace all that the van wasn't even worth that much so he said i need you guys to call somebody to pick you up or whatever it'll take us too long to fix your car it's not even worth it and straight up like i said we drove 10 hours away from our house before we broke down so we couldn't call our family members or friends to drive 10 hours to pick us up and then the relatives that we were supposed to meet in massachusetts they were another you know day day and a half drive away they couldn't pick us up so we had to call literally everybody i know everybody we know and tell my mom's old high school friend somebody she hasn't seen since high school finally picked up the phone and drove five hours to pick us up drove us to the kansas city airport five hours away so that's like 10 hours total for him to drive to pick up somebody he hasn't seen since high school and then he drove us to the kansas city airport we packed up everything we could from the car we flew to massachusetts and then we flew home overall we ended up spending two to three thousand dollars more than we should have for the trip and that was absolutely insane but i seriously thought i was gonna die when that old man came up i seriously thought this is the beginning to a horror movie what is going to happen with my life hopefully you guys enjoy the story everything worked out in the end but like i said in a few days i go on a car trip again the first road trip since then i am absolutely scared that something like that is going to happen again i really really hope that our car is in the best shape it's ever been because if we break down again i might have to cry i am scared shitless to go on this road trip and now you guys know why so hopefully you enjoyed absolutely amazing gameplay let's try to hit 400 likes on this gameplay guys comment hashtag doom takeover in the comment section down below if you made it to the end of this video thank you guys for watching i'm rocky cinema and i'm out for the day peace